We want to simplify this exponential expression. We have a lot of choices. We could simplify the inside first, or we could distribute the negative 2 exponent on the outside through the whole thing. I'm going to choose to simplify the inside first. The 2 and the 6 cancel, leaving a 3. With the x's, I can subtract the exponent. So here I have a negative 3, and I can have x to the negative 5 minus 3, and y to the 1 minus negative 4. So, um, and that will all be raised to the negative second power. So this is a negative 3x to the negative 8th. y, the minus negative 4, becomes plus 4, so y to the 5th, all raised to the negative second. Now, because I have the exponent of negative 2 on the outside, I can distribute that through everything on the inside to get negative 3 to the negative second power, x to the negative 8th to the negative second power, and y to the 5th to the negative second power, which gives me, for the negative 3, this would be um, 1 over negative 3 to the positive second power. Here, for x, I can multiply my exponents together to get x to the 16th, and same with y. To get y to the 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. So continuing, 1 over, well, a negative 3 squared is 9. Then I have x to the 16th, which to make it a fraction, I can put it over 1. And then the y to the negative 10th is the same as 1 over y to the positive 10th to make the exponent positive. So that means I have an x to the 16th in the numerator and a 9y to the 10th power in my denominator.